hello dear friends welcome to another GIS and the most interesting YouTube channel tutorial today we will discuss about land cover mapping using unsupervised classification in ArcMap environment this tutorial will cover classifying residential vegetation glacier and glacier lake and also river yeah uh, we will we will also talk about reclassifying and extraction files before starting the tutorials don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel now come to ArcMap environment as you know for uh, land cover mapping we need satellite image uh, for this tutorial we consider sentinel to uh, satellite image uh, for uh, for combination the uh, false color composite we use band 11 band 8 and band 2 for agriculture parts now uh, if you want to map a land cover mapping uh, before you want you need to uh, know about the textures and about the area uh, if you don't know you can also uh, you can also use the Google Earth for um, uh, for field uh, uh, for for field information in here as you know this part is agriculture this part is a, a residential area lake area in here we have a mountain also we have a residential area if you, uh, you must be know about the field information before starting the uh, unsupervised classification now come to uh, arc toolbox for unsupervised classifications uh, expansion analysis tools um, come to uh, multivariate easy cluster and supervised classification double click on it in here we have an input raster the input raster should be our uh, lancet image a uh, number of classes uh, how much classes should be provided should we develop it after the uh, after the process uh, in here for this tutorial we want to consider about 15 bonds uh, and in here we should uh, output the output by the name of uh, and super vice minimum class the minimum class should be uh, 15 20 and the simple interval should be 15 and also these are optional in here output signature if you have a uh, already signature or if you have a uh, field survey in the field you can also input the signature and also the for signature we uh, already create a video that uploaded in the youtube channel by the name of uh, supervised classifications after this you can uh, click on ok after dunning yes after dunning we have uh, 15 classes from this uh, area now you can uh, uh, distinguish or specify the any area we uncheck the unsupervised classification now zooming uh, now starting from the agriculture part this agriculture part should be um, preview should be pre uh, preview uh, by the green color but in here uh, for agriculture uh, agriculture portal and also uh, uh, and also we have a uh, blue color green color and also uh, sky colors uh, as you know the sensors is uh, absorb the reflection of uh, uh, the reflection of, of uh, land in here as you I want to zoom uh, as you see in here uh, please uh, follow my cursor in here the uh, reflection as of this agriculture is a less than here cause of in here is a three classes uh, 
uh, now come to the blue colors blue colors uh, in here the blue color should be change the uh, color like this uh, come to another color this color is uh, in here should be also changed by this ones uh, blue colors is not uh, come to again switch color should be considered in here follow the cursor uh, sign this color also this color also is a should be agriculture part yes great come to another side uh, okay for agriculture part come to this ones it needs more uh, monitoring yes great right uh, for agriculture part this we have three colors uh, come to another one says okay we double click on this ones we come to symbology and here uh, we should uh, I have uh, should be change color this one by the sign sun. This part is I want to see this part is a yes yeah, this part is not glass uh, not a uh, vegetations now come to uh, this color should select and also this ones and uh, this ones and here we right click group value now change it by the name of vegetation. Uh, apply now come to another uh, okay now in here as we know this is a residential part this part this part is uh, should be changed um, more take times this ones this one should be changed by the this ones this is a residential part and also as you see blue colors gray colors is also residential uh, blue colors is residential come to this ones uh, another ones uh, uh, yellow color is a residential part and others uh, green this colors is a residential part but um, okay the session change to your son okay so others uh, come to another place from this part Okay, double click on it and also this part this part this part this part this part is a uh, one to grow value change it by the name of residential then shell part okay another part I want to change uh, now come to this part black color is a what is a black color also black color is a block okay black color the mounting color this uh, sign colors also and black color sign colors another ones should change this ones to yes not sun um, and this one should be changed to pink this one's Okay, now I want to. I want to residential. Not come to a double click. 
uh, these two colors should be grouped by the name of mountainside mountain uh, yes mountainside and come to this is a glacial lake number six is what number six also is a mountainside mountainside for the most and number seven is a what okay now i want to double click on it number six plus mountainside should be grouped by the name of mountain again mountain uh, yes now i want to change we have a three colors yeah you want to this color gray color is also uh, residential and also blue color is the blue colors in here the blue color we have also residential part uh, and also number 11 number 11 is a mountain site maybe yes mountain site okay double click on it we have in here number 14 12 is a residential 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 and number 11 is uh, number 11 is uh, we can say mountain site and number four seven is as we can say residential yeah now it's clear uh, number 11 is mountain mountain uh, number 7 is a residential uh, we name it resi residential and number 4 is uh, uh, we can say glacier plus lake plus river apply yes now I want to change the colors mountain should be this colors uh, vegetation is in red glacial lake it should be this colors and the residential part residential part should be gray color that was great now I want to now in here I uh, specify the every area now come to reclassifying and uh, reclassifying also we have a spatial analysis tools we have a reclass from reclass we have a reclassify in reclassify from input roster we use unsupervised input roster in here we should uh, uh, specify the all value how uh, double click on unsupervised in here we have uh, four mountain which uh, polygons in here which uh, uh, colors should be combined to uh, uh, develop a mountain one two six eleven in here uh, from uh, come to one six uh, one two six eleven one is one two is also one uh, one six and also eleven 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 also is one this port is mount again double click one two six eleven okay for uh, vegetation three five ten three five ten uh, three is two three five ten then also is a two class again come to four is four seven eight nine okay four is four um, other is a residential number four is three and after number three is always four oh uh, 
and number nine is four it is four uh, four again four as you see in here in new value we have a four classes uh, in here we can use the reclassify just okay and now we need to reclassify okay for double click on this ones as you know one is a uh, for mounting and also in here uh, mm, we can change and also the pattern like this mm, okay no problems one is mounting in here we say mountain number two vegetation number three is a uh, glacier plus lake plus river and number four is a resi residential. I want to change the color also for glacier pond case. We should use this color for residential. We use gray color. Now it's great. Now it seems great. Uh, again, the way I want to change the polygon from create the step files how to know in have now we come to entry step how to uh, change the uh, raster to polygons or, or we can say how to extract the shape files uh, come to convert uh, conversion tools from raster raster to polygons uh, input raster should be reclassify output should be by the name of shape file files and just okay hey take time because of we have a uh, we map uh, we map a big area it need more times now it's finished uh, double click on shape files come to symbology categories uh, categories by the grid code <coughs> uh, add all volume for values adding uh, number one is a uh, uh, mountain as we see in here we have uh, follow my cursor in here we have already uh, categorized mountain number two is vegetation number three is a uh, glacier plus lake plus river and r residential part changing the uh, colors mountain should be like this yes and uh, vegetation should be green vegetation and also this one is great uh, glacial lake is we have a glacier side and number residential part is should be um, and gold gold is should be good Uh, here is the land cover mapping how to map a land cover uh, and also we want to explain it will it will have this uh, tutorial we have some mistake and also we cannot uh, map as uh, more accuracy if you want to more accuracy mapping you must uh, increase the uh, classes numbers and also more focus on the area more focus the textures and it, uh, reflection it will be more uh, accuracy this is the land cover of this uh, uh, Landsat uh, uh, Sentinel image and also in here we have no clearly the uh, residential port a uh, glacier lake ports and also uh, a vegetation ports mountain ports uh, for more videos don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel Bye.